what's good you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all about investing i'm going to be sharing with you guys my different tips and tricks for investing and also just kind of like managing your finances i have been into investing since i was like 21 so about five years now i started investing right when i got out of college and i got my job at amazon and i learned i've learned a lot over the past few years and i will say i feel like at one point i thought investing was so complicated and complex but i feel like it's a lot easier than it may seem i talked about this a bit in my q a video but i have made a good amount of money from investing i think my best ever month has been um march of this year when i made 4k from crypto which is insane and i was not expecting that i'll kind of get into that like a little bit later in the video but i also have made some money from the stock market and doing some more long-term investing so i'm just going to kind of share with you guys some things that have really helped me kind of get into this and learn about it and yeah, hopefully this will be a bit helpful. I'm obviously not a financial expert. So, you know, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Salt. This has just worked for me. So, yeah. That being said, the first thing that I think is really, really important when it comes to investing is to make sure that you are understanding. Now, honestly, if you want to invest, you have to have the money to do it. People who already have a lot of money can make a lot of money from investing. And so you'll see people online who are already really wealthy or already have like a business or they're rich or whatever, they come from money and they will have so much money to throw into investing that of course they'll have these like amazing success stories and then they're suddenly selling you a course course on how to make a million dollars from investing so just keep that in mind that like at the end of the day you have to have some disposable income to invest in the first place and i wouldn't want anybody to come on a video about investing and to think that that's going to help them quit their day jobs if they don't already have a lot of money sitting aside so i will say before you even worry about investing i think it's really important to have a really good understanding of your finances and understand that there is like an order in which you should probably be prioritizing whatever extra income you do have. I highly recommend that you first worry about paying off credit card debt, any high interest loans that you have. So if you have maybe student loans that are non-federal, I would first worry about paying off that high interest debt first. And then from there, I would also recommend you have some sort of savings that you feel comfortable with because obviously we live in a very volatile world. The job market's very volatile. If you work for yourself, things are, things are always changing. So I just think it's a really good idea to make sure that you have some sort of emergency fund before you then take that extra money and go and invest it because at the end of the day like when you're investing money you're risking it right you're risking losing the money so i just don't think it's a good idea if you have like two thousand dollars in your bank account to worry about investing obviously everybody's different but that's just kind of how i would be managing my finances so even for me right now girl the economy the way the economy is i'm worried about paying off my debt right now so i'm not even really worried about investing this year um i also really want to pay off my student loan debt even though i did if you guys have been watching me for a while, I used to share so much more about like finances and student loans and all these different things. So um, you guys may remember I did work on paying off my private student loan debt. I was able to pay that off a few years ago. So I do still have some federal student loan debt that I would actually like to pay off before I worry about investing a bunch of money into something new obviously again i do have my retirement account and we'll get into that a little bit later but i will say for me right now this year investing is not a huge priority so yeah that ought to say let's go ahead and get into the actual investing tips the first thing that i'm going to kind of touch on is retirement accounts just because these are a bit different than regular i mean you're still investing money when you do have a retirement account or you can it's just set up a little bit differently so if you are employed so if you work for an employer you have like a nine to five a corporate job you may already have a retirement account usually this would be under the classification of a 401k which is basically just a very standard retirement account and this is actually how i first started getting into investing so when i was 21 and i got my job at amazon they had me set up a 401k amazon along with most companies usually will offer to match you so whatever money you choose to put into your 401k each month from your monthly paycheck um, usually your employer will also match that amount so i highly highly recommend if you do if you are if you do work for a company that offers to do this definitely make sure you are taking advantage of that and you are contributing that amount into your retirement each month just because when you think about it when an employer is offering to match you that's free money so you want to be taking advantage of that and you want to be contributing to your 401k 
um, in whatever way you can. And then obviously if you're like me and you're self-employed, it's going to be a bit different. You're kind of in charge of figuring out how you want to do your retirement yourself. You could have a SEP IRA, you could have a Roth IRA. There's even the option to have a self-employed 401k, depending on what kind of business you have, like what business classification you have. So I definitely recommend if you are self-employed, honestly, just sit with a financial planner, figure out what's going to work the best for you, depending on your situation. Again, depending on, do you have an LLC? Do you have an S corp? I do have an S corp for my business. So you're able to do a self-employed 401k with that. And again, I've talked to a financial planner who has kind of helped me figure that out. So I do recommend, again, sitting with a financial planner, sitting with, you know, especially if you're self-employed, this is kind of separate. It doesn't really have as much to do with retirement, but I will say if you are self-employed, I also highly recommend that you have a CPA who can also kind of help you advise and understand how these things impact your tax liability for the year. Because depending on which, depending on which retirement account you have, it's going to affect your tax liability, right? So just keep that in mind. Again, when you're self-employed, everything just becomes a bit more complicated, but I just recommend doing some research and kind of figuring out what works the best for you. Once you have a retirement account of some sort, you can choose how you wanna invest that money. The only thing to keep in mind is usually a retirement account. There's rules regarding when you can take that money out. There's rules regarding how much you're paying on taxes. So if you do choose to take out some of that money early, you may be penalized for that. So sometimes people, what they will do is they'll, you know, they'll invest in their retirement account, but then they'll also have a different account for regular investing that they put money into as well. I do recommend you also look into opening up a separate account with your brokerage that it's a non-retirement account. That way you can also make some money from the stock market and you won't have as many penalties when it comes to taking that money out. Obviously there's different methods and you know techniques and different ways that people recommend you invest your money, but I'm gonna kinda just like for the ease of this video, I'm gonna break it up into two different categories. The way that I look at investing in the stock market is that there's like two different approaches you can take. There's long-term investing and there's short-term investing. So obviously when you're investing in the long-term, you're more worried about, you know, your money's probably gonna be sitting there longer. You're not gonna be really worried about touching it as much. You're just kind of letting your money grow over time so obviously a retirement account would be considered a long-term investment but you could also just focus on investing in the long term with your own personal account as well and that's kind of what i was more focused on like for me the biggest thing that i really wanted when it came to investing is obviously having a retirement account but then also having a place that my money i didn't want my money just sitting in my bank account and not growing at all because you're not really getting anything out of that and when you really think about like inflation and how you know how much prices rise over time it makes more sense to have your money sitting somewhere where that money is actually going to grow so there's obviously you know options like a high yield savings account but you could also really look into investing in like some safe kind of like some safe funds that will allow your money to grow and allow you to kind of just like not really have to worry about it and check it too much because if you're investing your money the right way, usually it's always going to be growing. Like historically, when you look at the data for certain funds, these things are always growing, right? So I kind of like to look at investing that way. Again, it's just something that you're, it's, it's just another place for you to put your money and let it kind of grow on its own. So the main thing that I really recommend if you wanna get into long-term investing, again, whether it be with your retirement account or your non-retirement account, is looking into index funds. Index funds are basically just a group of companies that you can choose to invest in. So instead of just investing in Netflix or Google, or Apple where, you know, something happens and suddenly one of these companies goes to shit and you lose all your money, you can invest in an index fund, which is going to be a group of companies um, depending on what that index fund looks like. So for example, you can invest in the S&P 500, you can invest in, is it NASDAQ? You can also invest in global markets, like do like a global market index fund. So for me personally, like I, again, I invest with Fidelity. So for my both my non-retirement account and my retirement account, I have investments in index funds. And the way that I chose which index funds to invest in was honestly just looking up stuff on YouTube and seeing what people recommended. Um, I can leave a link to the a couple of videos that I found that I 
kind of use as like a guide for picking which index funds to invest in. But I do recommend that you invest in more than one because obviously it's just a bit better to diversify your portfolio. So it may make sense to you know, have an index fund that's more focused on the US market and then maybe an index fund that's more focused on global markets um, and then maybe another one that's focused on a bit of both, right? Like that's kind of what I, that's kind of how I see it is just making sure that again, if one thing, like let's say the US market is not doing as well, then you know that the other index fund is picking up the slack. So that's just kind of like an overview. Again, I'm not going to get super detailed on these things just because I think it's going to make everything a bit more complicated. But my biggest, again, suggestion if you want to get into investing is to look into obviously having a retirement account, but then having a non-retirement account with that same brokerage and to focus more on long-term investing and doing that with index funds. And again, making sure that you're investing in different ones, diversifying your portfolio, I think that that's just a really good foundation to build. So that's long-term investing. When it comes to short-term investing, this is something that's a bit more tricky. Usually when you're investing in the short term, you're trying to make a quick return on your money and you're usually you're usually cashing that out within the year that you invest it so for some people they may be really into doing day trading you know maybe you invest some money one day and then two days later you're taking that money out and then you're moving it to somewhere else like that's a lot more um like some people do that as like a full-time job you know what i'm saying so you have to be like a lot more on on in the know when it comes to the market and the companies that you're investing in. For me, when I have tried day trading, I've definitely, I've made some money from it, but not enough for me to like want to quit my day job or like, you know, do it long term just because again, it requires so much learning. If you do want to get into that or like learn more about it, there's so many YouTube videos out there, but also I definitely recommend the app um, called Robin Hood and they make it pretty easy. It's pretty user-friendly. There's, I know, I know there's some like other apps out there to do like day trading and like short-term trading. So yeah, that's it in terms of investing in the stock market. That's just kind of how I do things. Obviously you can also invest in cryptocurrency, which is just an amazing and cool new thing that people are getting more and more into. So for me, what I do with um, investing in crypto, it's actually very, very simple and I'm not gonna explain it even too long because I don't wanna complicate things. Basically what I do is I have a Coinbase account, which is basically just like another, it's basically Robin Hood, but for crypto. It's just an app on your phone that you can use and it makes it very, very easy to invest in crypto. Um, I have a Coinbase account and every single week, I think I had it set up or was it every month? I can't remember because I saw doing it but what I was doing for a good like maybe two years maybe like a year and a half is I had it set up on auto transfer so that every single month I had a certain amount being invested in both crypto and or not crypto sorry bitcoin and ethereum and again I'm very big on diversifying your portfolio so if you do want to invest in crypto I do recommend at least doing two different types of cryptocurrency that's just how I would do it personally so every single week I had a transfer going into both of those types of cryptocurrency and that way instead of like just investing one big lump of money in crypto and like not knowing what what was going to happen to it I was basically reducing my risk and investing that money just in small chunks over time and eventually my account built up to a point where I had a pretty good investment in both again Bitcoin and Ethereum eventually like I forgot that I had the Coinbase account and I think like I like deleted Coinbase off my phone or like I just like I was never checking it and so there was one day it was literally 2024 so it was this year where I had checked and I had a bunch of money sitting in my Coinbase account and I was like, oh my God, I basically had like hidden this money for myself and it was growing over time, obviously. Be again, because these things, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're kind of more established now to a point where it's like they are growing or at least they have been over time. And what had happened randomly, I think it was like March of this year, was Ethereum kind of like shot up. And so I had made like within one month, like $4,000 from Ethereum, which was insane. Um, and I probably would not have made that much money if it were not for the fact that I had, again, been investing that money over time, slowly but surely. Because crypto is also kind of like a long-term investment as well. Like when you are investing your money in crypto, I don't think it's a good idea, unless you really want to, like you can, but I don't think it's a good idea to try to like do short-term investing when it comes to crypto, just because it is going to, at least the way it's been going, it is growing steadily over the years and there's people who had their money in bitcoin 
years ago who are like millionaires now right so just keep that in mind it's a bit of like a long-term investment um and for me personally like my kind of like philosophy when it comes to long-term investing also is to kind of just like think about it as like buried treasure like when you hide money from yourself and you kind of just forget about it it's gonna eventually grow over time you don't have to just put in a shit ton of money like five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars i think it's a really good idea to invest little chunks of money every single week or month depending on how you want to set that up figure out an investment strategy that works the best for you again diversify your portfolio so that your money is not just all in one place again obviously make sure that you are investing in your retirement and taking advantage of any 401k matching that your employer is doing and that's basically it in terms of my investment strategy y'all again i'm just very all about making things easy and not complicated at all obviously if you want to learn more you can but these are just kind of like foundation things that i have found really work for me when it comes to investing just keep in mind that like you know there's going to be different times and there's going to be different seasons where it makes more sense to be investing your money and to be trying to grow your money but it's not always going to be the case do recommend if you do have that extra money or that disposable income then use it and let it grow let it work for you you know what i'm saying so yeah i hope this was helpful in some way you guys Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other questions you guys have or if there's anything that I did not cover in today's video. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and being here. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.